Everybody, Golden Era Bookham here. Today I'd like to give you a quick peek at your physique, November 1949. On the cover is Abe Goldberg, and at this point, Abe Goldberg begins to really be featured a lot in, in uh, Joe Wader's magazines. And in the later issues that I'll show you over the weeks, you can really see the amazing ribcage development that this man developed. Um, his chest is just out of this world. Um, it's a great shot here, great side pose, not necessarily um, a classical side chest pose, but nevertheless you can see that he's holding a vacuum. Um, the arms aren't necessarily right under his ribcage, um, he's just presenting his chest mainly, that's the, the purpose of this pose. Really, really awesome shot there of Abe Goldberg. Now the articles in this particular magazine, I think the there are just only a few that I really enjoyed. This one on Malcolm Brenner was really awesome. Um, this guy looks very athletic if I just zoom in the, the images for you. And you can really see he's got a very athletic yet very powerful physique. And I will probably cover this guy in a future video just to let you know more about him. I, I thought he, he had a very athletic and aesthetic physique, well, then for, therefore worth uh, covering um, in, a, in a future video. Now this uh, article is interesting on the American weightlifting history where it covers George F. Jowett and his, um, I guess the, the changes that he made to the, uh, to the Olympic lifts. There used to be a, a lot of lifts in, uh, that used to basically test the strength of athletes um, back in the early 1900s and George F. Jowett along with uh, Alan Calvert basically um, created the three lift system. Um, basically being the military press, the snatch, and the clean and jerk, after which by the 1950s, 60s, or 70s, I can't remember when, the military press was omitted. And now, of course, we only have the clean and jerk and the snatch. Um, it also mentions the beginnings of the AAU and the rise of Bob Hoffman's uh, York Barbell Company. A very interesting read indeed. Next is a great shot of Val Njord, who is now constantly featured as a pin, really the, the bodybuilder's sweetheart, as it says, a pin-up girl, really, um, in these magazines. Um, but as I mentioned in my previous video, you can really start seeing Joe Wader's um, uh, attempt at promoting bodybuilding and fitness, as well as health, to the f uh, other sex, uh, females. Now, this article is rather interesting, a uh, unique muscle builder, the Wader Lever Bar, which personally, I think, was uh, the idea was stolen from George F. Jowett because George F. Jowett was the first uh, to come up with the Jowett Institute fulcrum lever bar and basically I really think that um, Joe Wade stole the idea and then started promoting it. Um, again here the model is Leo Robert who was being promoted at the time by Joe Wader. Um, now abdominal muscles is a really cool uh, article written by none other than David Willoughby and he basically talks about the anatomy and the importance of waistline development, which I've already covered in several videos. Now here is a great shot of George Eiferman in this um, article. I want to zoom it in for you. You really see what I love about it is, is the, the size of those deltoids. Jesus Christ, look at that. It's amazing. Amazing shot. Of course his biceps are full. Great shot of Eiferman. Great shot. That's all I liked about this particular article was the shot of, of George Eiferman. Now throughout this magazine actually, um, this wasn't a very interesting article either, short stature and height increase through bodybuilding. Uh, I don't really think so. I don't think bodybuilding really improves your height. Um, I don't think that's correct. But anyway, the, these shots of Ed Theriot are just amazing. Check out that vacuum, that deep vacuum is insane. And throughout this magazine, there are more shots, shots of uh, Ed Theriot and his amazing ability to hold a vacuum in these classical poses, which I'll get to in, in, a, in a minute. Um, now there's another article here, again, Joe Wader promoting his, um, his uh, equipment in, in showing you how can, you can use a squat rack, which basically is another version of a power rack for developing power. Interesting article in that the, the form of power training advocated here is that you can do all sorts of partial, uh, basically partial, um, partial, ex partial movements in, in these basic power exercises, such as partial squatting, partial pressing, uh, etc. Pretty interesting. I may may cover it. Um, I think covering an article 
on partial uh, movements is very beneficial, especially for people that are trying to um, develop more strength. So um, it's something that I've actually always always wanted to do, except for my injuries, I haven't really gotten to that level yet. But um, it is very advanced, and again, it helps you break through barriers because it does build up your ligaments and tendon strength, which is very important, of course, if you wish to build muscle. Um, now, these are the shots I told you about earlier. I mean, the, the vacuum shots here of Ed Theriot are absolutely fantastic. I want, really want to zoom in these, especially this one. That is a pose that is just not seen nowadays. It's kind of like a, a victory pose, but with a vacuum, and not really. I, I mean, I don't know what to call it, but check those out. They are fantastic. I love these shots. Look at his ability to spread his scapula out. They are his scapula. Can you believe that? That's incredible. These shots are awesome. I love these shots. Um, yeah, that's Ed Theriault, a, a short man, but he had a very, a very powerful Herculean physique. Uh, I love those shots of Ed Theriault. That's about it in regards to this, um, um, in regards to this uh, magazine. Actually, this article about the Saxon brothers, I was criticized recently by some people um, when I made the uh, video about Saxon people complaining, you know, some haters always got to hate and, and complain about what you say. And these are not my statements. The Saxon brothers, their, their strength feats are legendary. And some guy didn't believe that this guy could press, uh, you know, up to 10 men uh, on a plank of wood. And there's the photo, for God's sake, for whoever you are. You can count them yourself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's actually 12 people. 12 people that one of the Saxon brothers could actually press. So um, there you go. You can swallow that and keep it, for God's sake. Anyway, these are some awesome articles, uh, awesome history. Hope you've enjoyed this look at your physique, uh, November 1949, with Abe Goldberg, Goldberg on the cover. If you like these kinds of videos where I go through the magazines and, and, and feature some of the history of bodybuilding, let me know. Um, I am considering whether I should continue them because I don't exactly get all the views that I'd like to, even though I think it's, it's quite an interesting part of bodybuilding history. But if you do enjoy them, please give it a thumbs up, share them, and subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm yet. Um, leave me a comment. Thank you for watching, and I'm out. Bye.